today I'm going to do a little bit of deadlifts. So just start with one plate at a time until I reach this weight and then um, do five reps on 200 kilograms. Even though I haven't done deadlifts for a while, it's been two and a half months since I've done deadlifts. I mean, I've done deadlifts here and there, but not regularly. So I'm not expecting to actually go any heavier today than this weight, but the 200 kilograms is going to be top set, a minimum of five reps. And then after that, I will do two sets of deficit deadlifts and two sets of wide grip deadlifts. Those are super, super great for building strength. Uh, deficit deadlifts and wide grip deadlifts actually helped me achieve 250 kilogram goal that I had set for myself on the deadlift. Let's get started. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell below. I was a little careless because the weight was pulling me slightly forward but this is not really well, even though it's uh, quite heavy weight is not really heavy for me so I could get away with that but in general you just want to make sure that the weight doesn't pull you forward I have a couple of videos where I talk about this uh, there are a couple of things you need to adjust either your your uh, depth or your form, so your, your um, chest probably most likely is not in line with the bar. All right, so this is the top set and a minimum of five reps. Five reps, feels good though. I probably could have pulled one more, but on the fifth rep, I could see that I was hitching a little bit. And uh, that old habit, uh, I would like to actually not hitch, but I don't know, as the weight gets heavy, and that sort of comes naturally to me. Other than the general deadlift, the risks that come with deadlift, there is no other risk if you hitch. It's just that if you compete, hitching will not be allowed. So anyway, now I'll drop the weight to 160 kilograms and then do yeah, two sets of six to eight repetitions of wide, wide grip deadlifts.
It's nothing impressive really in terms of weight, but great exercise for building strong back and strong core. I am going to use the belt and the straps. First set done, one to go. If, you have, if you're doing this exercise uh, after a deadlift session, then a minimum of two sets should be also be fine. But then again, it depends where, where do you wanna get uh, in terms of weights or reps or what your goal is. My goal is to gradually get into deadlift, so I don't wanna rush it. And I'm sure I'll get there because right now I'm concentrating on squats. Anyway, so the breaks shouldn't be very long, so anywhere between a minute to a minute and a half. So let's get ready for the second and last set. Now it's going to be deficit deadlifts. I'm undebating should I use this weight or 140 kilograms. If I use, probably I'd be better off to use this weight and do six, six reps. Because if I do 140 kilograms, then I'll do eight reps. Uh, I think I'll keep the weight here. All right, let's set up for the deficit deadlifts. And if you enjoy content like this, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell below. Here we go. This is about eight centimeters, three inches probably. I will use the hand straps and the belt because after the deficit, after the, uh, the wide grip deadlifts and the deadlift session before that, ooh, grip is gone. <laughs> First set done, and one left. I'll see you in the next workout session.